guys. I'm finally getting around to recording that haul video that I promised I would record after I did my last um, look around shop with me video. Actually, I've did a couple more since then. So I thought I would just put everything in one big haul, show you some of the treasures that I found. Uh, they may not be treasures to you, but they're treasures to me. So um, yeah, let's get started. I've got <laughs> quite a bit and I do have that one uh, top of my wish list that I told you I found in the last one. I do have that here that I'm going to include. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Karen. I live in the natural state and I like anything um, thrifty, junky, vintage plants. I love plants. I've got plants everywhere. They're all in my room. I think I counted the other day. I have close to 128 <laughs> plants, but they make me happy. My husband is very tolerable of them, so I'm very lucky. So let's get started. Um, a lot of my things are little planners and then they have things to do with my plants, so it kind of all fits together. So let's just get started. We'll just start right here. Um, one thing I do collect a lot of is McCoy. McCoy is an old pottery. They were around since the early 1900s. This is a McCoy with a red cardinal. It's a little planner. I, it, and I love anything that's this buttery yellow color. This is an unmarked McCoy. It is from the 1940s, I believe. Uh, and I did get this at Treasures Antiques. I paid, uh, it was marked $12 and it was 30% off. So I did pay that much for it. There is no chips on it. Perfect condition. So I'll probably put me a little succulent or a little cactus or something in here. And yeah, it's just, it's real heavy. Beautiful little planner. Love it. Another little planner I got that day. And this one was 30% off also. And I do like um, little pixies. Anything whimsical, witchy, magical. I love it. This is an old shoe and it has a little pixie sitting on it and his little face. He just this he's just not sure but he is um i believe he is royal copley um that is you can tell by this there's no marking on it other than that but they are royal copley um and he'll probably get a little plant and him a little succulent or a, um, a little cactus maybe i love to put little cactuses in my little planters i don't know if you can see back here but i have a cactus there uh, this little guy hasn't got anything yet. I'm waiting for the right plant for him. But I did get this. He was $9 and he was 30% off of that. And he is from the 1930s. Uh, another thing I got, and I seen this one that day and I didn't get them. I put them back because I thought I'm not going to get all, all three. But I kept thinking about them and thinking about them. And so my husband was just said, uh, let's just go back and get it. <laughs> so this is another little pixie. I think this is a Shawnee. Uh, it's got a very high glaze coat on it. It's got a little bit of crazing on it. And crazing is where you can tell by the age it's little cracks in it. But it's not actually a crack. It's just the glaze is kind of cracked. So he's holding a little, a little flower bud there. And he's sitting there. And he's blue and yellow. And he'll hold... I may put like a little air plan in him, uh, but these three little planners, him, the little shoe, and then the little um, cardinal one, I'll probably put them all on the same shelf, kind of group them together, make them look real, real, like a little family, real cute. That same day, I did get this. I collect owls. I love owls. Uh, I did find this guy, and I can't remember how much he was. I want to say he was maybe like $8.00. Uh, but he's a very high gloss. He's hollow. Uh, I believe he's American pottery, but he just looks very majestic sitting there. And I'll probably set him above, among my plants where he can watch over them. And uh, maybe he'll bring me a lots of wisdom and good luck. Um, I just really like his face. I like how he looks. And yeah, I, I like him a lot. Another thing I got, uh, and I believe I got this at Bell Star. I like mushrooms. <laughs> Anything that's earthy, um, I'm on it. Uh, 
This is just a ceramic mushroom. It's hollow. I'm not sure who this is by, who made this, but it's real. It's got a real high gloss on it. Mushrooms are very hard to find. You can find some plates and stuff that has mushrooms on them, but just to find a freestanding mushroom, uh, you don't hardly see those. So hey, this one is in very good shape. I think I paid $8 for this. Uh, it wasn't on sale, but I'm just going to set it among my plants too. Um, and I, I really like it. Another thing I got, and I just found this today. I know I'm kind of bouncing around at the shops I got these in, but another thing I found today was, and my husband bought this for me. It's a little water pitcher. Uh, I'm not sure. There's no markings on it. Um, actually, it says H&M right there, and I, but I'm not sure what that is. But it's a water pitcher. It has mushrooms in it. It looks like the, the um, trunk of a tree. It's got the knotty, knotty parts of like the tree, and the handle looks like the tree. Um, it's glazed on the inside. It is no cracks, no chips, nothing. And I thought this would be so cute. I like to set uh, bottles of water, glasses of water, just water among my plants because that helps raise the humidity around them. And some of my plants, I have some begonias that likes a higher humidity. So I thought I could just put some water in this and then if they need a little drink, I'll have it right there. I can give them a drink. It's also got the mushrooms, my, my aesthetic. So I got that and I love that. This was $9.99. And I got this today at, um, I believe it was Remember When, and that's off of 71 Highway in Fort Smith, if you're familiar with that area. Another thing I got was, <clears throat> I found these two little hankies. My mom used to keep these little handkerchiefs folded up in her church Bible, and they always reminded me of her when I see them. They're real dainty. They're real soft. This one's got real pretty flowers on it. Real floral. Reminds me of spring. Very soft. Um, these were $2 a piece. So I got this little hanky. And then I also got this one. And this one's real fancy. Um, it's kind of a real sheer. And it's got the little floral. Floral. Um appliques on it and it's got the scalloped edges and it was also two dollars so i did pick up those because they reminded me of my mom so i thought those would be cute to have another thing i got and i got this because um i like anything to do with nature natural i seen this my husband bought it for me it's an antler Yes, it's actually an antler. I'm sure it was a shed that they picked up out in the woods. Uh, and it has a brush. It has like a dust brush. It's just neat. I'm pretty sure this looks like it might be some kind of natural hairs. I'm not sure. But uh, I thought this would look cute to lay, you know, like when I sweep the dust from my shelves around my plants. It just looks natural. And I have a knife that my husband bought me that a, a guy made it, uh, an actual um, blacksmith made it, and it is made out of an antler, the handle. Uh, and I thought this would be really cool to go with it. And he did pay up for this a little bit. He paid $38 for it, but it's one of a kind. There's probably not another one like it. And I liked it, and so he got it for me. So... There is that. Another thing I got, and I'm not sure if I've showed you this before or not. This is a metal basket, and it's on a stand. It's kind of woven. It is metal. Uh, it's kind of like a crescent moon. And I got this to put some of my smaller books, um, some of my little plant journals. Um, I've got some different kinds of card decks of cards. And I can set this on my shelf and I can put them all in that and kind of organize them. I thought that looked kind of neat and cool. Um, I, I don't really like plastic things. So if it's glass, metal, or wood or something natural, I'm more likely to go for it. 
Uh, so I did get that. That was $15, but it was 25% off. So I ended up paying like 11 something for it. Um, let's see. Another thing I got was this. This is a satin glass mug. I got this today at, um, through the years. And it was $9. And it has hand-painted little... Um, I don't know if these are like little um, dandelions or if they're just some kind of little daisy print. But I thought they were so pretty. And I love the way satin glass feels that I could put me a little pot uh, plant in here. Like put it in a nursery pot and then set it down in this. Make this the cover pot. But I think that's so cute. And I love it because it has the yellow on it. And that is one of my favorite. Um, I like greens, yellow. Actually, I'll have every kind of color. So, um, I did get this. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no mark on this, so I'm not sure who this is by or where it is from. But I really did like that one. So, I got it. Another thing I got was this. <laughs> this was a dollar. I got this at Treasures. Now, I like um, rainwater river water uh snow that is melted water i like water that has been setting out under the moon and um, that's why i put a few drops of that in with my plants because i feel like it just gives them an extra charge uh it's something that mother nature is giving back to the plants so i like to have little bottles when i catch my rainwater and or my husband goes to the river and gets me river water i like to have little bottles to put it in so I got this one. This one come with has its lid and this is an Avon bottle and it was um mouthwash. It's a breath fresh and you can still smell the minty fresh, but it is so pretty. It's this pretty turquoise. The lid is gold uh and it was a dollar. So, I got that to put some of my water in and set up on one of my shelves in my room um it's very eclectic looking and i really like it so he got me that one another one that he picked out himself and i really like it and it's another avon bottle this is the aladdin's lamp and it actually still has this is like a bubble bath it still has the bath soap in it so i'm not sure how old this one is but you can still smell it. It has that Avon smell. Um, I'm probably going to pour it out and rinse it out and then put some water in it. Uh, but I just think that's so cool. <laughs> and I like the green color. I like that he picked it out for me. Um, I think it was $5. And um, we got this at Through the Years also. So I think it, think it would look really cute sitting on the shelf beside that one. Another bottle I got, uh, and I don't know where it is right now, but it's a clear bottle. Um, but I did get that. Also today, I found this. And this bottle, um, I haven't even untaped it. It's still all taped together here. Still got the lid taped on it. Um, and I'm not sure what kind of bottle this is. I haven't researched it. I just really liked it. I like the green color of it. I like the floral aesthetic on it. And it does have the stopper. Uh, there's no chips. It's a perfect. I mean, there's no marks on it whatsoever. It does have these flowers on it all the way around. The stopper has the gold leaf uh, lining around it. And the bottle does have it around the neck here. And it also has some pin striping around the top and the bottom. But I thought this would be really pretty sitting beside my Aladdin lamp and then my um, Avon mouthwash bottle. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't wait to get these put on a shelf. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but uh, I think they're gorgeous. I just, I love them. I love this one and the, the green of this Aladdin. I mean, they look, uh, they're similar in color of green. I just think they're just, I love them. They make me so happy. Uh, so I'm very happy to have all of these. 
Uh, they didn't cost a lot. They make me happy. And that's all that matters. So, there is that. Uh, one thing I did get, and I got this a couple of weeks ago. And I bought it all together. We were down at Bell Star. And that is down off of Garrison in the old historical part of Fort Smith. And it is this little shelf. It's a little wooden shelf. I paid $10 for the little shelf. And then it had these little owls. And they're all ceramic. They were all anywhere from $3 to $6. But I have this little owl. And they fit perfect in this little shelf. I'm going to put it up here where you can see them where I don't have to move them. This little owl right here, he is front and back. So whatever side you're looking at him, he, you can see his little face. And then I have this little baby owl over here. And I, I just seen it and I just had to have it. I love owls. It looks so cute. I set it on a shelf with some of my plants kind of hanging over it. And I've got a frog that's doing the, um yoga pose I'm not sure which pose it is uh, but I put it on top of it and that's where it sits and it looks so cute and it makes me happy this is the room that I work in I work from home uh, I'm a nurse but I do work from home and so it makes me happy to be surrounded by things that that bring me joy and make me smile so there's that one other little ball my husband found this one and I don't know what kind of bottle this is it's flat on one side. There's no markings whatsoever on it. It has the original little stopper in it. So, I don't know. But, I don't know what I'm going to put in this. But, um, I may put snow water in it since we don't get a lot of snow here. But when we do, um, I try to collect some of it and let it melt. But I don't know what I'm going to put in it. But I think it's so cute. It's just tiny. And this little stopper is so perfect for it. And it's hard to find these little bottles with the stopper. I do have several little bottles. Um, and I usually put my plants in them. That's what I will propagate in. I thought I could show you one. But I don't see one right here that I can. Oh, right here. Here's one. That I can propagate plants in. <laughs> This is what I usually use them for. Uh, this is a Nanook. It's like a Transcansia. And so I cut the top off of a couple of them and I got them in there. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but they are rooting. You can see the roots in there. But so I buy these little bottles. And some of them I think maybe McCormick Spice bottles, but they're glass. And so I don't really care. They're cute. And that's what I put my set up here in the shelf by my window. They get the south sunlight and they root. And then I plant them in one of my little planters and we're good to go. So, I think, I don't know how long this has been, but I have three more things that I can think of to show you. Um, so, we're going to start with this one. This is one of my fairy lamps. I found this at Bell Star. Fairy lamps, they have a top, like a little shade thing. They have a bottom. A lot of them will come with this little insert. And you put a little tea light in there, light it, set it in there, put this on. And Fairy lamps has these little, um, you can see where they sit down on the, the little shadow, like that. The fairy light, it twinkles. It looks like little fairies. It's very relaxing to watch and I love fairy lamps so this is one of them that I got I got it at Bell Star and it was $15 and then I got this one at Treasures this one is a rose gold I'm sorry about the lights flickering my plant lights are coming off and on this one is kind of a um, blush rose it has little flower petals all around it it does not have an insert. I'm going to have to get an insert for it. The, but I, when I bought it, it had this little battery-operated candle in it. But it's it doesn't work. The batteries are dead. So I'm going to have to go to the Dollar Tree and get some more of those to put in here. Or I'm going to have to get one of those little glass inserts and put in here. Uh, but this is the bottom of that fairy lamp. And then this little top sits on that little fairy lamp like that. So that is two of my fairy lamps. And then my husband 
being the sweetheart that he is, I had looked at this one and looked at this one and looked at it, and it was $78, and I just couldn't do it. So, but he did. He bought it for me. This is a Fenton Fairy Lamp. It has got a Mary Gregory hand painting on it. It is signed on the inside. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's signed. And this one is number, um, I think it's like 1,209 of 2,390. So they made 2,390 of these. And this one is 1,209. Uh, it's got the little bottom where you put the little tea light and then your little shade sits in there and it's got this little girl and she's sitting on a fence she's got the little leaves when you turn it around it's got a little some more of the little um greenery bushes and the little leaves there and this one i just love it <laughs> it's not that old it's from i think 1990 was Oh, these that I showed you, the little pink one was 1973, and this uh, clear glass one was 1970. This one is from 1990. It's not that old, but it's beautiful. It's Fenton. I love it. It sits on my desk. Uh, I look at it every day when I'm working. It just makes me happy. So, the one that I found the other day that I've been wanting uh, is this. <laughs> This is a Amber Bars and Stars Indiana Glass Fairy Lamp. This is very, very heavy. Uh, they call it the Bars and Stars because it has the bar part here. Then it has the star looking shape. It's amber glass. So this casts off a very uh, soft ambient light unlike the other two, but it still twinkles and flickers. It has the top comes off. It does not have an insert in it so if I want to burn I can either put uh, the insert I like out of the other ones in here and then put a tea light in this or I can just burn a tea light in that this one still has tape in it we um we were at treasures the other day and we were getting ready to leave and I looked down and there this set it was meant to be. I have looked for this. I love the bars and stars. The Indiana glass is so heavy. I This was $15. I don't think they knew what they had. Because when I went up there, there's no chips on it. It's in perfect condition. When I went up there to pay for it, the lady said, there was a woman just in here, and she said she went to an estate sale and paid $50 a piece for two fairy lamps. And I, I, I don't know. I, it was just meant to be for me to have it because it just makes me so happy just to look at it. I love it. Um, I know I have a lot of collections and a lot of y'all are probably going, oh my God, this one's a hoarder. But, but um, and I may be, but little things make me happy and it doesn't take a lot of money to make me happy and when you can walk in a place and there's something that you've been thinking about and and you find it and it's it's at a good price fifteen dollars fifteen dollars to make me happy you know and and now i have it and i just it makes me happy I have to know i have it uh even this little five dollar bottle it, this makes me happy with the little original stopper uh and I set this stuff among my plants. I, it just, um, it doesn't take a lot. And luckily I have a husband that loves me and um, I'm going to get lost in rambling here and I don't mean to. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my treasures that I bought, some of the things that make me happy. Um, and if you would like to follow along on my crazy weird lifestyle just uh, subscribe it's free hit the subscribe button and then if you hit the little bell beside it every time i upload it lets you know so you can come and see what other kind of goofiness i got into because there's no telling what uh, me and my husband will do on the weekends when we get out and about and um look at junk and plants and 
<sighs> whatever else is in the natural state. Arkansas is a beautiful state. If you've never been here, uh, I suggest you plan a trip because it's really beautiful. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.